Hey everybody, it is Drew here from the Lone Fox YouTube channel. I am super excited to share with you guys how to create your very own DIY board and batten wall. We are actually going to be crafting this exact board and batten wall you see behind me, which is behind my bed. I added a little shelf to the top of it as well, and you guys, it is actually super, super easy and simple, but it creates such a stunning final project that it is totally worth it, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, the before of my space is a perfect blank canvas for some board and batten. So the tools I'm using are a level, tape measure, some caulking, construction adhesive, a brad nailer by Ryobi, and also a DeWalt miter saw. And these are all just super simple tools to use. So I'm going to start off by actually cleaning up the area and letting my wall be fully exposed so I'm able to first measure how high I want my board and batten to be. So I measured mine to four foot tall because I knew that the four by ones or the one by fours that I'm using were eight foot so I can get two panels from the one piece. So I started off by measuring the distance between my two windows windows, marking it on a piece of paper, and then also doing it to the left and the right of the windows as well, because I just find marking it down and then going outside and cutting is so much easier. So I basically marked all of my horizontal sections, and then I'm going to, again, mark it on my pre- primed pine wood boards and i'm using one by fours um please say pre-primed pine wood boards eight times like it's very challenging so i'm using my miter saw as you can see here to just cut my boarding down to create the sections that i need and if anything guys just cut them a little wider than you might need and then go back and kind of just take it down a bit more it's definitely easier to take off wood as opposed to add it back in so i'm going in with some construction adhesive and i'm going to be basically placing this against my wall and the adhesive holds it while you use the level to make sure it's straight and then you use the brad nailer to make sure that it's secured to the wall and of course the brad nailer is going to hold the wood to the wall as the construction adhesive dries so this is very repetitive we're going to first install our boards that are horizontal then after we install our horizontal boards we're going to go back in and install our batten pieces which are vertical So here we have all of our horizontal boards fully installed. And next what I'm gonna do is I use my tape measure to measure the length of the vertical boards. And I do this for every single board individually because sometimes the baseboard might be skewed a little bit, the wall might be off a bit. So I suggest measuring every single vertical panel you're gonna be applying in the exact spot it's going to go, adding some construction adhesive to the back side of it and making sure to use your level to make sure that that's nice and straight going up and down. And then of course, using your brad nailer to just make that it's secured and fastened to the wall. Now, some of you guys might be questioning, how did I come up with the spacing for my project? Now, whenever I do a board and batten wall, you guys, I'm just not very good with math to start with. So I create a very random gap, which sounds weird. I decided to go with a 10 inch gap for this project. And then I knew that my wood pieces were three and a half inches wide. So I kind of mapped it out across the whole wall and did a 10 inch gap and then it measured the three and a half inch board and created a tick mark, then did another 10 inch gap and just made sure that each of the wood pieces would fit across the wall as I worked wider out, but I like to start working from the middle and then kind of working my way to the right and then working my way to the left, making sure I have a 10 inch gap and then my board fits there, but you can totally adjust that gap to whatever you personally like, or you can even choose a different width of wood. You can go with like a one by three to have a skinnier panel as well. So I just completed applying all of my vertical panels with the construction adhesive and the brad nailer all the way across my wall. So as you can see here, I'm finishing up all of our vertical boards, but I wanted to go ahead and take mine one step further and apply a shelf to the top. And all you need to do to apply the shelf to the top is grab some construction adhesive and apply it to the top of your board and batten, stick your piece of wood on top that's measured to the same exact width that will fit the wall, and then use a nail gun to securely nail it all the way down into the board and batten that is underneath it. So this is going to hold it into place and then the glue will dry overnight and of course hold that to create a secure bond. So here we have all the boards applied to the wall. Now this only took me about three hours, but we are not fully complete. I want to also go in with some caulking and just apply a nice bead of it all the way down. And then you're going to use your finger to scrape away any excess and to fill any gaps where the wood doesn't meet the wall. Because as I mentioned to you guys, my apartment is from the 1930s. So the wall and the wood just sometimes doesn't come in contact. So filling it with the caulking is a great option to make sure that everything looks nice and flush. And I did this on the entire wall on every vertical 
vertical in every horizontal section. It has come time to paint the board and batten, which is always my favorite part. This is where everything comes together. I'm gonna be using the Bare Paint and Primer in One in an eggshell finish, and this color is called Conifer Green. It is such a pretty green color because it's bright enough to be an accent color, but it's also like muted enough to kind of blend in with everything. It's not an eyesore. It's just the perfect blend of bold, but also simple at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it. It's just a perfect green shade. I highly recommend this. And something else I highly recommend when painting board and batten is to use a foam roller to make sure you get a nice smooth finish and also to paint the baseboard. That is such a key element to any board and batten wall. You're going to want the entire bottom half of the wall to be the same color and then the top half to be an alternate color or a wallpaper. So I applied two full coats of this for an even coat and this finished off my board and batten wall. 